Yesterday we have discussed about the comparison of longitudinal waves and the transverse waves. According to that, the relations are known we have derived that is displacement relation of a progressive wave. Progressive wave means whenever in a given direction, the in time the body, the particles, the vibrating particles are continuously with the same constant amplitude, they are traveling in the specified direction. So, in case of the displacement relation, whenever the wave is traveling along the path to x axis, then that is y of x comma t is equal to a sin of x minus omega t plus pi. Here, the, we know that what is y, y is the displacement and x is the position and t is the time and uh, a is the amplitude, k is the angular wave number and omega is the angular frequency, pi is the phase. These are all our parameters are involved in the whenever the wave is traveling. So that's why, first of all we should know that what is A? A means, here A is the amplitude. Before that, the whenever the positive wave is traveling along the positive x direction, we can get this equation. And if in case of the wave is traveling along the negative x direction, then y of x comma t is equal to A sin of kx plus omega t plus pi is the equation. Then the parameters which are involved in whenever the wave is traveling is the amplitude. First of all, is amplitude. Amplitude means the maximum, the magnitude of maximum displacement of the vibrating particle from equilibrium position. The maximum displacement of vibrating particles means whenever the wave is traveling in either the either positive x-axis or a negative x-axis in whatever the direction is there. Then if the wave is traveling in this direction then the maximum displacement will be happened like this is the maximum displacement of the vibrating particles from its uh, equilibrium position that's why we can say that this is the equilibrium position either thrust or drop whatever it is then this is the maximum displacement of the vibrating particles and as well as it is measured uh, in uh, meters or centimeters then it is denoted with a small a amplitude means the maximum displacement of the vibrating particle from its equilibrium position is called amplitude. This amplitude can be measured in longitudinal waves and transverse waves also. Whenever in longitudinal waves, compressions and refractions will be formed. Whenever the compressions or refractions will be formed, means then the mean position is that then whenever in refraction the displacement will be happened for the vibrant particle like this then the distance, the maximum distance that can be traveled, the distance between the mean position to the maximum displacement of the particle is called as the amplitude and as well as in transverse waves, whenever the wave is traveling, the maximum displacement, whenever the wave is traveling like this, the maximum displacement which is happened, the displacement from its uh, mean position is called as a, the maximum displacement from its mean position is called as a amplitude. It is denoted with A and its unit is a meters. Means uh, we can be measured amplitude in a meters. Then next, another one is phase. What is phase? Phase means the state of the vibrating particle is recalled to its position and time at any instant in its path of vibration. Means when the wave is traveling around some direction, then the particles are vibrating from its mean position, then the this position and time of the particle at the sum of the, sum of the time, the, what is the position of the particle that will give the phase of that particle. That is called as a, here a phase, means uh, the state of the particle in regard with the position and time with respect to its path is called a phase means uh, the state of the particle in regard to its position and its direction of motion in any instant of time if the particle is in a positive phase means uh, if the particle is moving like this then this is a positive phase because of it is moving positive x axis if in case of wave is traveling in this direction means it is a negative phase because of it is moving into the negative x axis so that's why we can say that in regard to its direction and position 
And what kind of the position is there? If the particle is in positive x-axis direction, then that will the space will be positive. Either right theta is equal to zero degrees, pi radius, pi by two radius, like that. If in case of the body is the, the particle is in a opposite direction, means the negative axis is. Then the value is also get we can get the 120 degrees or 180 degrees more than the 180 degrees when the wave is the vibrating particle position and direction will give the phase at any instant of time. Okay, then that is the phase and it is denoted with the pi. Whenever the position and time t is equal to zero means uh, when the vibrating particle is at rest. There is no any wave is forming when x is equal to 0 and t is equal to 0, the phase angle will be pi. The phase angle will be pi. So that's why the phase uh, it can be denoted with a pi. And next one is wavelength. This is the most important thing in our waves unit because of once we should know that wave, then we can get the more information about that in uh, other topics. So that's why wavelength is the most important thing. Wavelength means the distance between the two successive points the distance between the two successive points between the same phase it means having the same phase it means uh, whenever the wave is in like this, this is the transform wave we are taking that then this is the amplitude this is the maximum displacement of the vibrating particle when this is called crust and this is called drop and this is the crust here the distance having the same phase we are on this level while having the same phase same phase means this is the one same phase and uh, whenever wave is uh, returned to its initial position then this is also in the same phase and we can <coughs> depend another way also the distance between two successive or two consecutive the distance between two consecutive crusts or troughs crust or drop means uh, whenever it is in the opposite direction this is the consecutive crust so the distance between two consecutive crust or uh, two troughs is also denoted as a lambda lambda means uh, wavelength the distance between the two successive points having the same phase is called wavelength and it is denoted with the lambda means the distance between two consecutive crusts or to succeed trucks means uh, although we can say if the both are in the different direction then the distance between the points from the initial point to another point same phase if the total one wavelength is completed means uh, one completed circle or one completed wave the time taken in a given time if the complete the one wave is called also wavelength the time given time the completed wave is called as the, the length of the total wave is called as the wavelength. Okay. So here is that. So that is the wavelength. Next we are going to discuss the angular wave number. Angular wave number. Angular wave number means the number of waves. The number of waves in unit length are equal to one wavelength of whatever the length of the wave is traveled. The total number of waves is called as a angular wavelength. It is 2 pi times. It is a 2 pi times. So the number of waves that can be accommodated per unit length. In unit length, the given unit length, the number of waves present at that length is uh, calculated as the angular wave number and also this is also called as the propagation constant. It is a propagation constant uh, k. That is also known as a propagation constant uh, k. So that's why angular wave number can be denoted as k. Angular wave number can be denoted as a k. And as well as it is measured in a radian per meter. Radian per meter. And simply we can measure it. In, it, is, it can be called as a meter. Per meter. Sorry. Per meter. It can be simply we can call it as a per meter. And uh, at the there is no zero phase of a vibrating particle. The displacement at time t is equal to zero. At a taken the pi is equal to zero means uh, the phase of the vibrating particle is zero. The displacement at t is equal to zero. Then uh, the displacement equation is y of x comma zero because of t is equal to zero. Then we can get uh, a sine uh, k x. From this, uh, we can get the, the lambda wavelength. Here, the wavelength means uh, what is the distance between the two consecutive crust or trough is called as the 
Wait, wait. So here lambda is equal to 2 pi by k because of one way that means the total length taken that to get completed one way is called as the length of the total completed one way is called as wavelength. So that's why lambda is equal to 2 pi by k and k is equal to 2 pi by lambda. Wherever the k is taken to this side and lambda comes to this side, then k is equal to 2 pi by lambda. This is the angular wave number. Angular wave number can be measured as the, the k is equal to 2 pi by lambda. Means the lambda total wave length in 2 pi in 2 pi radius. So in 2 pi radius, the wave length. 2 by radian, the number of wavelengths is called as the angular wave number, means the number of waves, means the wavelength is a, the complete wave, the total length of the complete wave is called as wavelength. So, k is equal to 2 pi by lambda and next one is time period. What is time period or it can be say period also? Time period means the time taken to complete one oscillation is called or one wave complete com, to complete one wave is called as the time period or uh, the time taken by the wave to travel a distance to one wavelength the time taken by the wave to travel to complete the one wavelength is called a time period means uh, whenever the wave is traveling in this direction then uh, it completed this is the one wavelength this is the one wavelength. The time taken to complete traveled by the wave to complete one wavelength. This is the one wavelength lambda. The time taken to complete this distance is called as the time period. It's called a time period. Time, time period can be denoted with a capital T. Time period is denoted with a capital T and as well as the SI unit is the seconds. SI unit is a seconds. And uh, the frequency. Next one is frequency. Frequency means the number of oscillations, the number of oscillations or the number of waves completed in one second. In a one second means uh, at a unit time, the number of waves are completed. The total number of waves completed in one second is called as a, it's a frequency. For example, in one second, we can hear from the speaker sound and another sound. In how much the sound we can be heard uh, in one second is called uh, that frequency. For example, we can see the DJ boxes, speakers, home theaters. There is a, the mark can be measured, the edges can be placed in the uh, box because of that much of frequency that body can be delivered. So that is called as its frequency. That means to say the number of oscillations per second denoted by it is denoted by mu. Denoted by mu. So mu is equal to 1 by d. And also frequency also can be defined as the thing of the reciprocal of time period. The reciprocal of time period is called as the frequency. Here the time period also we can be known as t is equal to 1 by mu also means the reciprocal of the reciprocal of frequency also called as the time period. Here the frequency the reciprocal of time period is also called as frequency. Here the reciprocal of frequency is also called as time period. Like this, here frequency also frequency can measure in hedges. Frequency can be measured in a radius, it is denoted by mu. These are the parameters which is involved in a wave formation, in wave equation. So, if we know these values, then we can find, easily find the, what is the parameters of a waves. So, after frequency, we are going to discuss about the angular frequency. The angular frequency means the 2 pi times the frequency of the wave 2 pi times the frequency of the wave is called a angular frequency and is denoted with the omega denoted with the omega next uh, omega is equal to you know, that uh, 2 times 2 pi by t is the formula then from that we can write that 2 pi mu because uh, we know that mu is equal to 1 by d means uh, the frequency is equal to d. this is the relation between the angular frequency and the linear frequency so here mu is equal to 1 by d the reciprocal of time period is called as the frequency so that's why omega is equal to 2 pi by t the relation between the time period and angular frequency is t is equal to 2 pi by omega 
from that omega is equal to 2 pi by 3 we can write that then here the frequency is equal to we know that the reciprocal of time period we know the time period 2 pi by omega the relation between the time period and the uh, angular frequency is uh, 2 pi by omega so the 2 pi omega is equal to we can write in the equation then we can get omega by 2 pi means uh, nu is equal to 1 by omega by 2 pi that is equal to sorry 2 pi by omega that is equal to omega by 2 pi this is the equation for the frequency relation between the angular frequency and a linear frequency from that we can write that omega is equal to 2 pi nu 2 pi nu this is the relation and also we can write that here the relation between the angular wave number relation between the velocity and the angular velocity and the angular frequency omega is equal to we have the formula also v is equal to omega by k and as well as that is equal to that is equal to we can write that here from this equation also we can find out that v is equal to v is equal to omega is equal to here sorry k is equal to omega by v but we know that omega is equal to we have the formula 2 pi nu means 2 pi by t so 2 pi by t and uh, again uh, from the velocity equation we can write that t by lambda here we can get the t pi by lambda from the equation t is equal to we know that nu lambda nu from the equation t is equal to nu lambda nu is equal to reciprocal of prime period from the equation lambda by t so from this relation we can write that t is equal to lambda by t that from the relation we can write that t by lambda so here we should know that we should remember this formula so 2 pi by t and t t will be cancelled from the k is equal to when the angular wave number k is equal to 2 pi by lambda can be derived from the equation also this is about uh, the parameters which is involved uh, in uh, when the wave is uh, traveling thank you tomorrow we will continue that next in the next video we can discuss about that sound waves thank you